Now we're going to talk jobs now. If you're looking for a job in Silicon Valley, you're certain to find an office that fits your personality and your work style. You want to take uh, Script, for example. Uh, the company offers its, its users a place online where you can publish your stories, and you can also read the work of other authors, their original writings, for instance. And as Pando Daily's Kim McNicholas found out, Scribd offers its employees so much more. cycling yeah. in the office. Every day, the company gets out for coffee. It looks like a bunch of people escape from the circus. You have a place where people can rock out. I mean, every company has their own culture. Just last year, we've had more toys than ever, yet we've doubled our revenue and increased our profit margins up to nearly 40%. What made you get a rock climbing wall? We achieved profitability recently, and we decided we needed a new toy in the office. I've seen those go-karts, so I'm going to go ride some of those. Okay, kind of take a break. <laughs> Definitely don't think they're a distraction. They actually help with productivity. It's the work hard, play hard model. I would imagine that the toys are going to evolve. What's on your wish list? Hot tub, water slide, into the hot tub, trampoline, track heats. You don't mind the perception out there that this is just kind of fun and games? I think it's a great perception. <laughs> I think everyone would want to work at a, at a company where you get to both work on really uh, interesting products and, and make a big impact on, on the world and also have a lot of toys in the office. <laughs> Kim McNicholas has the best job in Silicon Valley. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> She's here to, to continue to talk about some of these fun places to work in Silicon Valley. That's Scribd, which right. looks like a great time. What are some of your other favorites? Um, we have Zynga, we have Box, uh -huh. we have um, Google, we also have Facebook. They all have really, really fun work environments. They have a lot of perks for employees. One of the main perks is, is really the free gourmet lunch. We hear <laughs> so have. much about that, yes. Yeah. Uh, especially from Google. I mean, we've heard a lot about about, about how much fun Google is. Tell us about some of these other places and what makes them stand out and the fun factor. So over at Tag, Tagged is one of those social networks. It was actually the first profitable social network in uh, Silicon Valley. Uh -huh. uh, and it, it's kind of the social network in a sense for the blue collar worker, the way the people that are the time rich, they have a lot of time on their hands yes. is how they play it. But they have Nerf ball fights, they have free <laughs> lunches, they have yoga, they have free massages for their yeah. employees. But the key is, is that they're profitable. Yes, they have exactly. The work hard, play hard model. I mean, most of their employees are there from first thing in the morning when they can have breakfast, clear up through dinner. That is so important to remember is that profi profitability right. and the fact that money talks. It does. So when someone is looking for a job, okay, the fun and games are great, or as I mentioned there, the toys, mm -hmm. but the money is the bottom line. Well, it is the money. That they, They're all profitable. They're all great companies. Mm -hmm. And Zynga's had a little bit of trouble. I think a few of theirs, their perks are going to kind of um, fall by the wayside uh -huh. over time. I know they're struggling as a publicly traded company. Um, but at the same time, employees really love working there now. Another one to mention is Axiant. It's um, an enterprise company, mm -hmm. a company we call a B2B, business to business type of company, storage company. But what I love about this company, they don't have all of the um, obvious perks, the free lunches all the time, the slides as you would see and swings that <laughs> you would see at right, right. But what they do have is they have a, a CEO that has just created this amazing culture. It's it's the only workplace I've been in mm -hmm. where literally people are smiling. It's almost creepy. They are smiling when they're walking even alone across the workspace. Yeah. But the CEO does one-on-one -on -one inter you know meetings with mm -hmm. his employees still. He offers an employee of the month program. And so when you're looking for a company really know, you know, what is that culture fit? Do you fit into the work hard, play hard model? Do you mm -hmm. prefer a laid back workplace? Do you um, prefer a place that's collaborative? Do you prefer a place that gives you a lot of autonomy? Really take those into consideration when you're applying for a job. Those are some very important tips to consider for someone who's looking for work because, you know, obviously, 
it looks like fun. Yeah. It's a great time, but there is so much more to the workplace. And I think one of the things that you, caught, you touched upon is the fact that people were smiling at their workplace. Yep. And it makes you wonder, okay, what's going on here? They want to be there. They, yeah. Especially in Silicon Valley, what I always notice is that, especially with the startups, I mean, people have to want to be there because mm -hmm. it is really hard work. You do work a lot of hours. Um, there, there are many companies, you're working weekends. And yes. so they almost have to provide the opportunity for you to have a little fun, maybe have a gym. And Scribd, they just achieved another milestone, so they ended up with a gym inside their workplace. To go with the, with the rock climbing wall. With the rock climbing wall. <laughs> of course. And the go-karts. What, what other tips can you give to someone who's looking for a job in Silicon Valley in terms of, okay, perks versus this is my reality, What is, the fact that I'm going to be working a lot of hours. What are some other tips you can give? Well, there are other there are questions, key questions mm -hmm. that you can ask. At the end of every interview, it's always really impressive to an employer anyway when you don't just say, yeah, okay, thanks for the interview and leave when you say, okay, I have some questions for you. I really want to make sure that I fit in with your culture. So here are some questions that you can ask. One, describe a typical day at your company. Two, um, make sure to ask, if we were going to give a public tour of your company, mm -hmm. what three things would you want to share with the public? And conversely, um, what is it that you would not, that would people would not see if they were on a public tour of the company that's really important for your culture? What does it take to be successful at your company? And um, probably one of the most important is, what are the achievements and accomplishments that your company actually acknowledges? Mm -hmm. Or you would be more, most proud of. Right. Yeah. Those are some great tips. And, and Kim, again, you have the best job in Silicon Valley. <laughs> thanks for that report. And thanks Thank for you. those tips. Thank you. Great to see you.